So six months ago, we installed and reviewed an EG4 electronics heat pump. This one is special because it has a solar charge controller built in, and these two wires go over to a solar array on my trailer. So during the daytime, this is powered off of solar without a battery, without an inverter, without anything. And then at nighttime, it's powered off of 120 volts AC with that outlet over there. And so far we haven't had a single issue. I haven't even touched this system after I installed it. But with this unit, it doesn't have pre-charged lines. And that was a big downside over a Mr. Cool heat pump. Those are much easier and faster to install. But now EG4 actually sells this model with quick connect lines and they call it plug and cool. And then they also sell a cheaper model without a solar charge controller. So we're gonna go through my property. I'm gonna show you what a Mr. Cool heat pump looks like and then I'm going to show you the new model and how they compare. So let's get started. Now this heat pump is by Mr. Cool and it has easy connects. So for DIY people you do not need to buy a vacuum pump or anything. You just connect the line set, it comes pre-charged and it takes minutes to assemble. Now these charged line sets are easy to install but they're pretty darn ugly. You can see that the excess line set is just coiled next to the unit and this is what most people do for these types of installs. Now I've purchased quite a few of these for multiple houses and I've never had a single issue. This one and all of the other ones have never leaked ever. And I'm powering this one off of an off-grid system that's where this cable is going right here so I've had no issues but the big downside is these cost a lot of money EG4 now has the same exact quick connect system but for a lot less and this right here is the new EG4 unit so it has charged line sets just like the Mr. Cool but it has a higher efficiency compared to the Mr. Cool also it can run off of 120 or 240 volts unlike the Mr. Cool Mr. Mr. Cools are either set to 120 or 240. This one does both. But that's only for some models. All of the large models need 240 volts, obviously. Also, this is cheaper than the Mr. Cools. For some reason, they keep raising the prices and they don't seem to want to come down. The EG4 is a few hundred dollars less, which makes a big difference if you're buying multiple units. And Mr. Cool and EG4 are the only ones that I know that have these pre-charged line sets. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't been able to find another option on the market. Now what do I dislike about this over the Mr. Cool? The Mr. Cool has a template that you put on your wall and it shows you exactly where to cut the hole. This one does not and I really hope that they add that in the future. When I did this install I had to use a tape measure and kind of eyeball where it should be. It worked great and it's a smaller hole than the Mr. Cool but I think they should have a template board that comes with the unit. Next downside is that the EG4 drain hose is not as long as the Mr. Cool. The Mr. Cool one is like a few more feet longer and that's really useful. This one I have connected to a bucket because I live in Las Vegas and it's very dry. So as you can see, there's no water in here. Next, you'll notice that this is not covered by this UV resistant tape. And in the Mr. Cool, they give you more than what you need. In the EG4, they did not give enough, which was a big bummer in my opinion. So I think the EG4 needs to be refined a little bit more, but the unit itself is fantastic and it also has higher efficiency and I've never had any issues with any of their units so far and the parts are very similar I wonder if the company that makes Mr. Cool is also making these units because I'm telling you all the connectors and like the color of stuff everything looks pretty much the same but keep in mind this is a new product so I'm gonna run this for six months and then do an update video their other heat pump has performed flawlessly in winter and now during summer it's about hundred and 13 degrees today and all of these heat pumps are cooling my house. Very rarely do I ever have to turn on my actual air conditioners because these heat pumps keep it cool where I need it most and at a much higher efficiency than the air conditioners that came with my house. In living in Las Vegas, these consume more electricity than anything else. I have six heat pumps right now to cool down both buildings and including my workshop. So it takes a lot of power. People are always like, oh, electric vehicles take lots of power. No, these take lots of power. These are the number one load on my system, especially during winter when I'm heating my house with solar power. But yeah, having a higher efficiency heat pump and having more solar, I'm actually able to do it. Now let's go downstairs and I'll show you a heat pump that I did have issues with. 
Now I've been running this for about three years and we finally had an issue and I actually had to get some professionals out here to recharge the system because there was a leak. And these connections I did not do. I hired someone to do these and these are the connections that leaked. So yeah, on all the other systems I've built, I do everything myself now, but on the first one, I wanted someone to help me. And yeah, they screwed it up. So we had to recharge the system and now it's working great. But on the pre-charged line set units, I've never had a leak ever. Um, and I've been running them on multiple houses every single day for a few years now. But if you go this route, make sure you do a good job and make sure you hire a really good professional because the one I had was not good enough. The next guys that came and helped me out and charged this system, they also used Nylog. So I haven't had any issues since, but it cost a thousand dollars to fill this stupid thing up with enough charge so it can work efficiently. So yeah, now this thing's working flawlessly, but I really wish I hired someone better to do it. Or if I did it myself, there'd probably be no issues at all. Now, if you have an off-grid system and you have a traditional air conditioner, you should replace it or supplement it with a few of these. I like having lots of small heat pumps everywhere because if one fails, everything will still stay cool. It's nice to have that added redundancy. Some you can connect to the grid and some you can run completely off-grid. And if your system is large enough, Enough, you can run all of them off-grid, which is really nice. This one has only run off-grid. It's never been connected to the grid once. And after you install about two of these, you can install them very quickly. You kind of get it down. Also during the winter, you can heat your home and that's really nice, but you have to have enough solar. Out here in Las Vegas, we always have sunshine. So I can always heat or cool my home, whatever I really need. Now, something to keep in mind is if you live in a really cold environment, these do not work as efficiently as a heater during the winter. So there are cold rated heat pumps that you can look into and there's quite a few available on Amazon. And that's pretty much it. These are very simple devices and they're getting easier to install every single day. If you're running your system off of solar, check these out. I would say try a small one, install it and see what you think. If you want to install more, it will be very easy after you do it once. But yeah, start with the small one, see how you like it. And I bet you will probably like it, especially as the years go by and you'll notice how efficient these things are. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.